Hey, my name is Mark Fletcher. I'm the owner of Tower Systems. Today is February 1, 2022. And being the first of the month, uh, it's an opportunity to look back and see how January went in retail. And that's what makes Tower Systems a different point of sale software company. This background that I've got here, this virtual background uh, for the video I'm recording right now is from one of our shops. We've got three shops. Two of them are in Westfield Centres and two are on the high street. Uh, one of them we took over in December last year uh, and the other one we took over about two and a half years ago. Uh, oh, sorry, we opened two and a half years ago. The previous owners had actually gone broke. Um, so we have four shops in four very different situations. The whole reason we have these shops is so that we're walking in the shoes of our customers, so that we experience what our retail customers experience. We've got 3,500 small business retailers who use our point of sale software, but there's nothing quite like us using it ourselves to have that first person experience to understand what it's like to have to balance the register to use the software for marketing to get an insight and an understanding into how the business operates so this image behind me is from our store at Westfield Knox in Melbourne we've been there for eight or nine years now um, 135 square meters it's a powerhouse store uh, it identifies itself as a news agency, but it is not a news agency at all. It's a car shop, it's a gift shop, it's a homeware shop. It's really focused on those higher margin things. Doesn't do any lotteries, doesn't do any tobacco, doesn't do any confectionery. So it's not a traditional news agency. The reason that matters in this conversation here about a point of sale software is we use our software to help transition our businesses to make sure that our businesses are profitable. So I want to give you an example of that. I just want to share my screen and take you behind the scenes and let you see um, how our business is operating at uh, Mount Waverley. So this is a high street business, a very, very small shop in uh, a high street situation in Mount Waverley in Victoria. This is about seven or eight minutes from Chadston. It's about seven minutes from the Glen and about 10 minutes from Westfield Knox. So this is in a strip shop. Um, and as I said, we when we opened the business, uh, the previous owners had gone broke. The shop had been closed for about two months. Um, and back in 2019, this business did $367,000 in revenue. Now, this is a gift and card shop. It doesn't sell magazines. It doesn't sell lotteries. So it's not a news agency at all. And it runs with one person. And we've got a, a very, very effective lease rate for the shop. So at 367, this business was profitable. We look at 2021, this business did 563. So we're up by $176,000 in revenue. That's a 53% increase. This report that I'm using here is our monthly sales comparison report. And look, secretly, personally, for me, this is one of my favorite reports in the software because this report really gives us an understanding of how the business is performing. If I take you up to the top of the report, you can see here, for example, where we're at with the, the situation with greeting cards. Now, greeting cards for us, are a very, very important category. Um, our GP is north of 60%, uh, and we went from 105,000 to 146,000. What's interesting about this, in this situation, even if you don't sell cards, this is a, um, and I don't wanna sound arrogant at all, but this is a kind of a business light bulb moment. Um, we reduced the card space in 2021 over what we had in 2019. We reduced it by 25%. So we cut our card space by 25%. We cut our card inventory investment by 25%. And we went from 105,000 in revenue to 146,000 in revenue in 2021. So that's a 40% increase in revenue, a 25% increase in unit sales. So we're selling more expensive cards, more valuable cards through the process. So we took up less space. We spent less money on inventory. And we increased our revenue because we used the software to help drive those results. And this business is full of terrific stories. You know, we've got double digit growth in collectibles. Um, we've moved into the diary space. We've gone from 1500 to 7,800. Um, we've done less with gift because we're moving out of the traditional gift and moving into some other areas. Like we moved into homewares from $109 to uh, $8,500. Um, and then uh, we've got really good uh plush and good stationary business. And then we took our ornaments from $107,000 to $191,000. This is a business that in 2019 at $333,000 was profitable, not massively so, but it was profitable. And here we are in 2021 at $510,000. Operating cost is the same. The lease, the occupancy cost is, hasn't changed that much. Our labor cost is pretty much the same as it was and we're achieving these results. 
this report helps us compare trading periods. It's one of about 130 reports in our point of sale software. This is, I think, an example of what us owning retail shops means, because here we are in February 1, we're already looking at our reports now, we're gathering the reports for January so that we can understand what's happening in our shops. And so that we can also talk with other customers of ours about what's happening in their shops too. As a software company, we will uh, guide you on how to use the software. And, and that's pretty traditional from a help desk point of view, where they'll say, somebody will call and say, here's my question, what should I do? And help desk person will say, here's what you do. What's different about us, what I think is different about Tower Systems is that we can go that extra step. We can say, well, here's what we do in our shop. Here's how we use the software in our shop in that situation. Whether it's selling by length using fractions, whether it's selling by serial number, whether it's selling with customer special orders, whether it's handling pre-orders, whether it's handling bundled pricing, where it's buy two, get this, uh, or prices that graduate based on the volume that a customer spends. All of those things we do within our software, we use within our software personally. And so we can speak from experience. It doesn't mean that you have to run your business the way we, we run ours, because we understand everybody uh, does their own thing from that point of view. But what it does mean is, there's a level of empathy that we can bring to that. I own tower systems, I own the retail shops. Um, and so from my perspective, right through the company, uh, that connection flows. And we're really keen for that to happen. Now, I don't wanna take up a lot of your time. I wanted to keep this to be a short video, but I was at Bunnings the other day and um, made a bit of a purchase and got the Bunnings receipt, you can see here. Uh, and then on the bottom of the receipt is sort of pretty basic, you know, traditional Bunnings information. Uh, sorry, that's sort of dropping in and out. So that receipt kind of is interesting, but when you go to our shop, any one of our shops, you get a receipt that says down the bottom of the receipt, it says our gift to you down here, our gift to you. And it's got an amount on there. The amount that's on there is an amount that's calculated automatically by the software based on the rules that you set as the retailer. Um, and it calculates it on the basis that um, what are we prepared to put on the table to either get the customer to spend more during that visit or to get them to come back. We've been doing this since 2013. And we started doing it because we were doing some work at the time with garden centres. And it proved to be a tremendous success for them because they had peaks and troughs through the, the four major seasons of the year. And we see those peaks and troughs occurring in gift shops, in jewelers, in bike shops, in toy shops. And so these, what we call in the software discount vouchers on the bottom of the receipt that you can see here, these discount vouchers, um, which you can call whatever you want, because here it says our gift to you. Um, this one here says just on the bottom, congratulations. Now, those vouchers, you control how they're calculated, how the amounts are calculated. You control what they're redeemed for. What we know from all of the data we've collected across many, many customer businesses is around 20% of the vouchers are redeemed. We are able to track a revenue increase and a deeper basket on the basis of the use of the vouchers. What's special is that customers know, and I mean, this voucher here is $3.45. Uh, what customers know is what $3.45 is worth. They don't know what 500 points is worth. They don't know uh, about the various rules that are associated with the points, partly because of all of the confusing messages that are put out there by Coles and Woolworths and other major retailers. They of course use points because for them, that's an easy way for them at the back end to manage and control it. But shoppers understand money. And so a person with this voucher for $3.45 will think, okay, what else, how can I spend that $3.45? And, and at this shop that I'm in front of with the photo here from uh, Westfield Knox, we know that around a third of all of the people who visit that shop are one-time visitors because of how the shopping center is used given its geographic situation. So those people were gonna have one shot, one opportunity to pitch to. So this voucher makes that visit more appealing to them. I've personally seen Somebody come in, make a purchase, get a voucher. Oh, okay. And then go and buy something else, get another voucher and buy something else. So one transaction becomes three transactions. It makes that visit far more valuable to the business. Now, because we own shops, we're able to 
develop the technology, but also finesse the technology in a way to maximize the value for our locally owned small retail business. And I think that's an example of the, one of the differences that Tower brings to the table. Yeah, we're a POS software company. We think we're a pretty good POS software company. We've got great people who work here, really friendly staff. We've got awesome software developers. But then there's the other side of what we do, and we're retailers. And so we understand the need to turn stock. We understand the occupancy cost that stock has when it's not turning within the shop. We understand the need to deal with suppliers electronically and efficiently. We understand the need to be able to, as local retailers, um, add something of ourselves to what we do within the business so that we can differentiate ourselves. I mean, on the photo behind me, you can see these greeting cards on the wall. Everybody sells greeting cards. Anybody can sell them, but nobody can sell them the way we can sell them. Because in the software, we can embed facilities and knowledge and experience in a way that separates us apart. One of the really exciting things in our software is that you have the ability to sell you in a structured, automatic way. And that's a big point of difference. I you know, could go on for hours and probably bore you to tears with stories about how, as a software company, we've benefited from owning retail. We bought our first shop in February 1996. Um, and uh, we've owned many shops since then. We have four today, as I said, two in Westfield centres and two in high street um, strip shop situations. They teach us things every day, and I, I really appreciate that. Um, so what's different about Tower Systems? We're a point-of-sale software company that walks in your shoes. You may not own a business that sell greeting, sells greeting cards or homewares or gifts, um, but if you sell products, then we've got a better opportunity to understand you because we sell products too every day in our shops. And I think that's an important factor because when you're talking to somebody on the end of the phone and you say, I, I wanna do this, they need to have context to be able to give you the assistance that you want. And our people have context because as part of their training process with joining our company, they spend time working in the shops. Uh, and from myself down, uh, we have people who are engaged in our shops, engaged in using our software every day. Now, it's February 1. I've got to leave you because uh, I'm going to start to look at the figures for January so that we can see how 2022, which is already a bit of a weird year, is going to pan out and start to do some predictions because one of the good benefits of the software is it helps us see forward beyond where we're at today. And so I'm very keen uh, in the next half an hour or so to see uh, where January 2022 landed compared to 2021 and compared to 2020. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the video useful.